एंड हेयर वी हैव द ट्रियो सर्टिफाइड दीपक खुराना दीपक खुराना ज्वाइन माय वन टू वन मेंटोर प्रोग्राम फॉर पीएमपी ही वाज नाइजीरिया ही वाज इन नाइजीरिया वे बैक एंड ही क्लियर पीएम देन ही ज्वाइन माय वन टू वन प्रोग्राम फॉर रिस्क मैनेजमेंट एंड ही क्लियर नाउ ही इज इन इंडिया एंड ही डिसाइडेड टू डू एसीपी ही क्लियर एसीपी एजाइल सर्टिफाइड प्रैक्टिशनर and now he has cleared acp he is acp before going forward i want to share it he's a mechanical engineer and when we started agile was strange to him he has no background per se but he studied agile very hard while doing for pmp he went into depth this is one of the thing i want to highlight about deepak whatever he study he goes deep into that topic he was among i guess only student or maybe among two students who in my training program in my training program we don't study books he studied rita he was the only student who studied rita and went through that he likes to read the book he want to go deep into that and for this acp was something that he wanted to do and he did it deepak first of all congratulation on clearing PMI ACP congratulations on almost new job now it's been few months so and welcome back to india so first of all how do you feel now uh, it's fantastic journey amir first of all uh, thank you thank you very much for setting the context uh, which we are going to discuss so in the nutshell i am feeling very proud that i put my hard effort and it took a long time but uh, i i was fully consistent while doing acp so i'm feeling very good after giving the exam 2 3 days back now i'm fully relaxed because uh, everyone is aware this uh, pmi exam is uh, really a hard effort and you will enjoy after the success of certificate right hmm so let's talk about how did you prepare for it how did you prepare can you share with us so amir yeah uh, amir when i thought of acp it was the month of december 2021 when i did uh, uh, rmp after that when i landed into the india i thought that i should do some agile certification because my new job journey belongs to the agile world so at that time but i was very new to my new field in the new job i shifted my career after long span so i thought of i will do it later i postpone i i have words with you also that after 6 months of probation and all that right so i hold the time but something in agile so i take a little baby step so i'm at the time i found a good mentor like you and i did uh, the csm time you can say it in 10 in 10 days mm. so i thought that uh, after csm i don't know more in agile but csm is only the scrum only the scrum is only mostly 80% of the organizations are using scrum but i was uh, uh, i was willing to learn because agile is a very big, big umbrella which we should understand so i start preparation basically in the month of july i my it, it was in my thoughts uh, in the december but actually when i got little comfortable in my new job then i started in the month of on 13th of july i really catch the book which i purchased in the month of january itself mm-hmm. I, i i bought the my griffith book but at the time i started in the month of july and it uh, in the last 3 uh, months which i have studied there was no night i sp- i sleep before 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock right so when i tired i came back so i put minimum 3 to 4 hours per day without fail because if you will not be consistent you will forget what we have learned because it is not hard like pm but concepts are very big to understand so this was the time period which i put together for this journey you can say 3 months hmm okay that's a good time how did you uh, basically manage the exam can we talk about that 
so the first course uh, i seen one day the sale on the udemy so i purchased the one course of joseph philips uh, okay. he is also a fantastic uh, guy so for 20 21 hours of study i have completed in you can say only in two or three days i was i sit on my table chair and i didn't uh, stop until i closed that uh, 21 hours so i did that course in 2 3 hours then i got the certificate then i learned your word that uh, you should put the application first then you will get something feeling uh, sorry i didn't take your help in this because i was aware i should write down in the application after the 21 hours completion on the next day itself i have put the application uh, uh, in the pmi so mm. that uh, application not approved in 5 days so i was worried what happened why it is not approved and if audit will come then uh, amir will definitely scold me why you have not taken my help right <laughs> so but uh, it took 6 uh, to 7 days i was worried that uh, why, why why you will ask me a question why you have not taken help from any senior mm. right so uh, it to uh, it approved in 7 to 8 days i think mm. so i was not worried so then i got my next salary i paid the fees even uh, uh, also already because i was getting ready but i was getting 60 62 63% <laughs> marks uh, in your mocks and another mocks also which uh, the this uh, book book is having so i was confident and i got help from some time hamid also uh, some technical discussion with our uh, another colleagues uh, like uh, guljar also but guljar is a strict guy who asks me don't go for exam if you are not getting 90% he, so he, i hold myself you, you my will, hand you, you will love him i go back you, you will love him he's like you guljar is in a lot senses like you yeah he's very risk averse yes yeah yeah he he don't allow me to take risk actually when i was thinking when i will get 80% marks in the mock i will go for exam but he did he really stop me no don't do this mistake otherwise i will not talk to you then i i stop myself and i took more one month because in two months i was i was feeling that i am ready but this mock took me i think more than one month i given every night i do the mock and i don't count how many times you have done your mocks and vagde mocks i have done and I, really i uh, i spent lot of time in mocks also after my study when i given the study time of first time i read the full book of 491 pages then i thought my concepts are not build as it should be so i have read the book second time also but in second time it was a fantastic journey that everything i have written on the notes or everything was on my book so i read only 2 to 3 days first i took at least 20 days to read the book but in the second attempt uh, i read only 2 to 3 days so when i was ready then i immediately book the exam and go to the uh, and uh, given the exam at once yeah. hmm. okay okay thank you thank you very much for this explanation let's talk about the exam you give the exam in center yeah which center was it yes yeah. uh, the center was very near to my home place mm-hmm. in gurgaon in gurgaon okay so so in the when, when yeah. was your exam time when exam was time was in the evening exam time was in the evening okay exam time was in the evening you gave the exam okay and uh, then how did you manage everything can you like how did you manage the time in the exam uh um amir sir you told me that you should bring the chocolate and uh, bring a water yeah, yeah, bottle yeah. etc Always. everything Always. i managed i remember your words yeah i i uh, in the last day even i was thinking uh, i should take your uh, guidance other then then i th- thought i will give you a surprise like so mm-hmm. i have not took any uh, type of uh, uh, guidance at that time but i was aware your guidance is always with me so i bring chocolate and water etc everything what is required for uh, my peace of the mind in the next uh, 60 questions but uh, i was surprised i didn't get the break after 60 questions this was in a one shot i was not aware about that really so mm-hmm. when i clicked the 
60 question i was waiting for that uh, i will go for chocolate but mm-hmm. i didn't get the break and it was a continuous exam this was uh, new to me this was tiring i was not aware about that this was tiring so i completed this pardon it was tiring it was definitely definitely mm-hmm. definitely it was it, highly it was tiring to me only because sitting so, 3 hours only 120 questions ah uh, one to 120 question uh, uh, i was completing in 40 minutes in the box hmm. maximum i took uh, in the uh, i took 1 hour 20 minutes 1 hour 15 minutes sometime a 40 minutes hmm. but when exam was there only 19 minutes was balance when i finished the exam only 19 minutes i was shocked why i am taking so much time but questions were like that i have to read the question twice thrice sometimes so uh, complexity of uh, questions were high mm-hmm. which i was not expecting uh, but uh, we cannot compare pmi with any another organization right of course of course okay thank you thank you very much deepak for sharing your journey your entire journey how the you worked into way this uh, i am sure with your journey many people can reach you out and the same way gulzar and ahmed helped you assisted you you can help others Definitely. okay anything else you would like okay. to add here uh the one thing i should add to the upcoming aspirant if they directly come to the mentor like you or uh, anyone in the market so it will take less time because if you are studying yourself in the busy schedule in your corporate life it is always taking a more time to go through to your desires because uh, your dreams are big if your dreams are big you have to work hard but if you want to achieve in a short period of time you they need a mentor like you thank you thank you very Definitely. much thank you very much deepak and best of luck for your future endeavors namaste